Hola, soy Christopher Go. Estoy aquí en Madrid con Azul City. Now we go to Wind Post. Now Wind Post has a feature called Derotation, which is basically one of the most powerful tool in imaging planets. Basically, derotation allows you to start beyond the limits of the rotation of the planet. Now, it's a very powerful tool because with more data, you can get more aggressive with your sharpening and noise reduction. Being able to stack longer allows you to get images that are not possible with a single image. Now, how do you do the derotation? Basically, these are the instructions of doing the derotation. Now, I'll show you the screen first. So that uh, basically, this is an outline on how it's done. Then, so the first part of derotation is called image measurement. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to do this, uh, we're going to do an actual uh, image measurement. So here you are, this is uh, Winjupos. So first thing you do is you go to recording, then the next you go to image measurement. Then you go open the file. Now what you open is the color image. So there you get, you get the color image. Now you, the first thing you see is you can see this grid pattern around Jupiter. In this case, we're processing Jupiter. Now you don't need to enter the date and the time. If you had used the wind geopost convention that I told you earlier, then everything, the, the dates and the time are already fed automatically to, uh, from your file name. The next thing you do is you need to align the wire frame into the planet now Jupiter, it's easy. All you have to do is to press F11 and the wireframe will basically align by itself, like in this case. Then just make sure that, you know, you see these grid patterns and uh, compare it to the belt and zones of Jupiter. If it's more or less aligned, then, you know, your alignment is good. So you go to back to image, save, and basically save the IMS file. So this is the image measurement file. So you have to do this on all the images that you want to derotate. So you go to the, this is the first, you go to the second and the third. Once you're done with image measurement, now you go to derotation. So this is a basically a, a summary of what you're gonna do with derotation. So we're going to do the actual. So you go to the function of derotation is in the under tools and derotate images. Now, the first thing you do is uh, you go to edit and open all the files. One. Now, even with good seeing, I capture at least four, three to four images to derotate. So, just imagine if your 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 seeing is bad, you have to capture a lot more data. So these are the images. Now, you have to choose what file you want to save. Normally, I would save it on TIFF. And next, you have to decide on orientation. Make sure your orientation is north up. Now, there's a, a feature here called limb darkening. Now, the problem is that if you do not uh, set your limb darkening to 0.6, exactly 0.6 to 0.7, you're going to have a bright edge or bright limb. So, what you have to do is uh, set your limb to 0 0.0, 0 0.6 points. Then after this, you compile your image. So right now, it's basically derotating your image now. Now we do the final processing. So uh, we do our final processing with Photoshop, but we need some special software for sharp sharpening. Uh, I would suggest that you use uh, the Nick collection. Right now it's owned by DxO and a software called Topaz Labs Denoise. So the first thing you do is you open the file. And this is the final derotated image. 
you'll notice that the image is a bit dim. So one thing we can do is we can adjust the histogram. You go to levels and uh, adjust the levels. There, you have a brighter image. Now, here's the secret now. Before you apply any sharpening, you have to go to uh, filters, noise, the speckle. Why? Because the speckle is like a rug that you cover under the hammer. So it reduces the distortions created when you sharpen the image. Then you go to filter. So normally in the collection, I use the output sharpener. So there, there's a zoom image here. And uh, what I normally do is uh, use these settings over here. Basically to sharpen the image. And press OK. There. Yeah. Notice that the image is very really sharpened a bit. And the problem with this one is that you'll notice there's noise in the image. So you can just go to filter, Topaz Labs noise. I normally use the value of 6, but you can test out your image. You'll notice with Topaz Labs, the noise is gone, but the sharpness of the image has not changed. So there you have it, a smooth, sharp image of Jupiter.